welcome back to our YouTube channel. I'm so glad to be back. Yo. I mean, we've had so many guests. We also posted our wedding video. If you haven't seen it, go back and watch it. Like we mm. really, it's the highlights video. So the actual one is coming, which is like an hour and a half long. Yeah. But yeah, like ugh, it just feels so be- it's so great to be like back here sitting. I've been a little bit of a producer lately. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Yeah. <laughs> so it feels good to be back. So if you're new here, my name is Bipelo. And I'm Sipo. And we are the Mbada Ligas. <laughs> so please um, don't forget to subscribe and like and comment. So today we'll be speaking about are you discontent in your relationship? And this is such an important topic, mm. especially wha- as we're shooting this. We just come from Valentine's Day and we were just looking at it and looking at, you know, all the great things that people are doing in that men are doing for their wives. You, may, you know, they're calling it Women's Day now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we're just thinking how easy it can be to be discontent. And also just all the the celebrity couples that are getting divorced and stuff. I mean, we were sabawelling some of their weddings. You know, we were like... You! <laughs> we were like, I wish my wedding was like this one. I wish... And it's so easy to look at Instagram and to look at all these... This content on YouTube and everything and to really sabawell a relationship. And you don't know the details that are happening in that relationship. So it's easy to be discontent. Yeah. And to like end up you know spoiling something good Mm. because you're discontent Mm. and i've had my own experiences Mm. of being discontent in a relationship so a lot of things have influenced why we want to talk about are you discontent in your relationship but mainly now it's been just valentine's day and seeing all the content and just thinking sipo you're not loving me well (laughs) because you did not take me to bali on valentine's day yeah. you're not loving me well because this and that so yeah. yeah we just felt like it's a very important topic to have right now yeah i think it, it comes down yeah social media has played a very big part um in terms of us having this kind of conversation because i think back in the days i think it was probably things were so much better in terms of you just being in your own place and being content with what you have but now with everyone like posting you know what's happening in their lives um he or she did this for me i think the spirit of 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 comparing yourselves to other people and and not being content with what you have and your own identity as a couple i think it it plays a big part it plays a big part in that and i think um yeah let's let's jump straight into it then yeah i think for me i've been a victim so when sipo and i got into a relationship i was like you know, I'm not really a flower person. Just like take me out. Like I like it when you yeah. plan good dates for me. And Sipo's that kind of guy. Like he mm. likes to plan the dates. Like he he's really good at that. Like he'll plan great dates. Make sure there's 27k worth of photography and videography <laughs> to capture that date. <laughs> like you know, he's like that guy. Mm. So I saw this other lady, guys, on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> she gets flowers every week yeah, okay yeah. so every week she posts like the flowers she got and the message mm. that she got from her husband mm. um and so i started feeling like <laughs> i'm not loved oh yeah. my god yeah. <laughs> my earring fell i started feeling like i'm not loved in this yeah. relationship yeah. you know so i was like to see i was like um i feel like you, you, you don't buy me flowers <laughs> <laughs> and th- that's a problem for me and he was like oh, so what what did you think when i said that i was like <laughs> I, you probably saw this from from instagram <laughs> that's the, that was the first thing that came to mind because i was like you've never been a, a fan of flowers yeah and yeah so i was like no you probably saw it from somewhere so i was like oh you'd like flowers then you're like then I was like didn't you say you don't like flowers then you're like nah i think the gesture is nice <laughs> Then the next day, I went out and bought flowers. Yeah. Went out and bought flowers. I think I've bought you like three, three bunch of flowers. Okay. Yeah. Uh, two. From two. Yeah. yeah. From that day. Yeah. But but I think it's it's very dangerous because from that, mm. Sipo was like, how? Oh, yeah. I've never bought you flowers. <laughs> like we've been dating for more than a year. Yeah. And all of a sudden you see, and so I came clean and said, okay, actually I saw this guy <laughs> did it for this girl. And yeah. I actually thought it would be cool. Yeah. And I think it would be, da- it's dangerous because first of all, like it messes with Sipo's ego. Like, okay, yeah. so now am I not loving you well just because yeah. I didn't buy you flowers? Yeah. And 
um like you do you not are you not appreciative of all my other gestures mm. that I've, I've i've done for you as well yeah so yeah. yeah and i think it also it comes down to to because we we are actually having this conversation as guys that you know you might see that a guy is buying a person flowers mm. but you don't know why they actually buying them you might find that this guy is abusive sure. and he's apologizing every single week for beating his woman up because those things happen all the time you mm. find that someone they bought they bought them a rolls royce but it's actually an apology for mm. you know things that are happening so you don't really know what's really happening in people's in people's lives and it's people only share you know the the good part of of their relationships and if you were to take it at just at face value then you you might fall into a trap because you know guys do this all the time like mm. we we living in South Africa where um people buy gifts to apologize for all the wrongs that they've done to to a person so you don't really know you know what's really going on mm. and and yeah it's 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 important just to stay true to to your identity as a couple there are people who they don't, they don't like gifting each other mm. and or like even valentines they they've made an agreement that they don't celebrate it and for for you to then let's say you've agreed from from the get go and then for you then to go on and see people doing other um other things for for let's say your peers on mm. on social media and and you to be like oh you don't love me because you didn't give me anything on valentines day but that that was the agreement you had initially mm. maybe you celebrate other things other people don't celebrate birthdays for example mm. but you chose not to celebrate valentines day so it's important for you to stay true to who you are as a couple mm. and i think another thing i think comparison is also and i'm not generalizing I, I, but i think mostly mm. it happens with women mm. and i'm not generalizing Definitely. it does <laughs> <laughs> but I think it does because yeah. another thing is with me I take in a lot of content so I listen to a lot of podcasts about marriage I um mm. I take I watch a lot of couple YouTube videos mm. and so forth and so Sipo and I have also had to ask ourselves at what point are these people like you know are we taking advice from them and at what point is that guy the mm. head of our home yes, yes, because yes. it's it's important to draw the line to say yes we are learning principles from this couple and mm. that's very important mm. and we are able to um apply them in our own way in our mm. relationships mm. but that man can't be the head of our home mm. in this in this family mm. so yeah i think um another a practical thing i would say as well is that if you're looking you're taking in a lot of instagram content or youtube content and you're starting to compare your relationship to their relationship is to like take a break yeah. like literally yeah. take a break yeah. and ask yourself and also be honest mm. in your relationship to say i'm feeling a little bit weird or mm. sideways because mm. i feel like you're not buying me flowers yeah but i'm not sure if i actually yeah, appreciate the gesture yeah. or i'm looking at this couple and i feel mm. like mm. this couple is yeah. getting flowers all the time because it can yeah. really mess with your man's ego mm. and it can really also be dangerous for your relationship you mm. can lose a good man just because you're constantly looking for greener pastures mm. because you're looking at a a relationship that does things differently yeah and 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 the moment you start like compare let's say you, you have this one couple you constantly compare yourselves with then let's say i'm the guy and they say a woman cooks for a man she does all these sorts of things for a man mm. then i start talking to her about it i'm like oh did you see what she did did you see today she did this she did this she... then it starts hurting you mm. as 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 the female because you're like oh what about what i do you know so now you're idolizing it comes to a point where it's if it's like that one couple you constantly thinking about you turn you come to a point where you might start uh, you might start idolizing that person and yeah. you might It's sort of like having that person in your mind and I don't know how different it is from actually cheating on your person because mm. you're constantly thinking about that person constantly thinking about that person then you have sort of like an emotional connection with the person and not your husband because you're constantly thinking about them what they're doing you so you sort of like dating the person but mm. not dating them because you're like oh oh they did this for their person they did this for their wife they did this for their husband then you sort of getting your you sort of getting that satisfaction based on what they're posting so yeah. you sort of have an image of them in your mind all the time yeah so it's quite dangerous as well in that aspect yeah and i think what what i also wanted to say is that it's important to evaluate where you are mm-hmm. at as a couple mm-hmm. because like 
I'm studying now. We have like a thirty thousand rand like mm. to pay, mm. right? Mm. That's separate. Where we could have used that money for Greece. Mm. So if another couple is going to Greece, <laughs> yeah, and you're looking at your own situation, yeah. it's important to evaluate and be like, this is not possible right now yeah. because of what we are doing and yeah. where we are going as a couple. Yeah. So, like. I guess yeah. I don't know if there is even like a healthy comparison, mm. but like you can learn from mm. other couples. Mm. But mm. It, when it be- comes to a point of comparing and so yeah. forth, it's important to evaluate where you're at and mm. just you know be realistic. Yeah, I think for me it comes down to to the more material materialistic things. So if someone, what well, some guy booked a state booked out a stadium for someone, it doesn't <laughs> mean that your man must also go. Yeah. Just because someone FNB Stadium was booked, he mustn't then go to Orlando Stadium and mm. book the same stadium. The, you have your own thing of do. You have your own way of doing things, you know. And I think for for me, the comparison comes more in the more materialistic thing, the mm. gifting, the way of doing things. And I think in terms of like healthy comparison, okay, I wouldn't say healthy comparison, but I think learning, learning from other couples, it will come in the more qualitative stuff, mm. like. They're so forgiving. They they're so loving. They, you know, not not. Oh, she does this for him. Mm. He does this for her. It's more of, you know, their relationship. It embodies these sorts of principles. Mm. So look at the principle and not what they're doing. Like the principle in terms of gifting is an act of love. So instead of saying, oh, she did this for him or he did this for her, say they love each other mm. and. You know that would be something that that's something that we could sort of implement like gifting but it doesn't mean that you have to now go and copy what they did i, I don't have to go out and book out a stadium just because you know social media is is, is things are trending and people are trending because someone booked out a stadium for them mm. but just that that act it, it could be that you know for me i see it as love so let me copy that kind of love for my wife and do something that is within our identity and I remember yesterday you were also saying that just your the relationship your parents had mm-hmm. was not it was very like simple. Yeah. Like yeah. sitting yeah. Yeah. watching sitting by the sit- tree yeah. on a random Saturday. Yeah. yeah, that's a kind of and, and you know And it's a love that lasted. Mm, like it's it's literally more than thirty five years of marriage, literally till death do us part. Mm. So like have your own identity and and because I had never seen my dad do anything on Valentine's Day. They probably had their own way of expressing their love for each other. And that was part of their identity. Mm. And, you know, it's not wrong. Like, if some, if you don't celebrate certain days, if it's an agreement between the two of you, mm. then it's absolutely fine. Because if you end up taking in too much from social media, then you'll completely lose your relationship. Yeah, that's yeah. good. I think we'll end it there. I mean... Yeah. The, the goal of this was to say, you know, don't compare and mm. be content. Yeah. Be content with what you have. If what you have is what's best for you, yeah. don't compare. Yeah. Like, be content and don't lose a good man over mm. flowers. I mean, come <laughs> on. I'm telling flowers you. Flowers die in two <laughs> days. Literally, I bought you flowers on Valentine's Day and I'm just looking at them. They're I'm just dead. like, already two days dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you've made it this far, you're a real one. We should probably have a name for the people like, who watch <laughs> our, yeah, our YouTube channel. Yeah. So comment a name that you think would be like best mm. for you guys. Yeah. yeah, so we love you guys. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment on this video. And let us know which part stood out for you. Love you guys. Peace. Cheers. <laughs> Oh,